Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together this cute fall sunflower that I have at the Silhouette Online Store and LoriWhitlock.com in SVG format. Basically in front of me you'll see that there's a set of larger leaves with four connected and a set of smaller leaves, or petals I should say. So you're going to cut two of the smaller ones and four of the larger ones as it's set up in the file. There's also a couple of leaves and you'll cut those as well. And I have used these little uh, molding tools to kind of work with the leaves uh, or petals. So I just kind of molded them all towards the center and then I took this smaller one and kind of, since it's a sunflower, just drew some lines in them. And you'll notice that there's some paint on them as well. Um, before I started working with it, I put a little bit of this Bombay Yellow Ochre India ink on my paintbrush and I just painted them on the center section of this little sunflower. And I went a little crazy at the beginning and I put those down at the bottom here. But um, I was thinking it would make a nice effect. So I have just started to glue down to this main green piece here two of the layers. So you'll see I've um, kind of offset them. So one layer is kind of lined up with four of these little green points. And the other layer is lined up with the other four. So and now I'm ready to do the next two layers. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue down in this base and put my next layer in. And I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit so that all of these layers just form a nice sunflower when we're done. And just so you know, I grew up in the middle of South Dakota in the summertime and my father grew sunflowers and so I have a a dear spot in my heart for sunflowers. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and put the last two layers in. I'm probably my experiment here and put a little bit of the glue here on the petals. And these are a little bit smaller petal just to kind of fill in in the middle here. Okay, we'll just offset those as well. So now your little sunflower is all um, put together. I'm just going to have to hold it and make sure that it glues all together nicely. That last layer is having trouble sticking. Okay, I'm not going to touch it for a minute. Maybe it'll just dry. So um, you're going to want to, of course, put in some leaves. And I'm just going to tuck those in. right there and they can be drying as well and I have formed these with the same tools and kind of veined them so drawn some little veins with the smallest tool there just makes a nice effect so there's the petal the, the leaves put into place with the petals so now the tricky part is just the center so there's this round center piece that's going to form the middle of our sunflower and I've created these little clamshell shaped pieces that you can just glue into that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this brown center in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue these little clamshell pieces in and I'm to create those, I'm just going to take my little tool and just kind of turn them into a bowl shape and just pinch them together and just glue them right in. And that's going to form kind of the seeds on the sunflower. So just go around and randomly glue those in place until your flower is done. Okay, so now that our flower is done, I've just put the center in place and you just have to be patient with that and hold all those little pieces in place. And you may or may not need all of them. In fact, one of them looks like they've come loose, but I'll just take that out for now. But um, this is what it looks like when it's done. And I've taken my little tweezers and kind of curled some of these little petals in and just kind of formed them to look a little more natural. 
So I really hope you enjoy making these beautiful flowers. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a message here. And just so you're aware, all the paper that I've used here is just basic 65 pound cardstock that you can buy at the craft store. So hopefully that helps and enjoy making these. Have a great day. Bye-bye.